show you what I'm going to be doing with the white pen and also these farmhouse beads to pull it all together for a great Mother's Day gift. So here we go. If you didn't see the last video, go ahead and watch that one as well. And you can see how everything kind of pulled together. All right. So here we go. What I'm going to do here. Sorry about that ringing. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through. Let's hope my pen was working. I'm going to go through these little crevices because it allows things to pop really good. So once you've colored in the places, you can just lightly go over top of these edges. And it just gives it a really pretty pop to that. And what I'm going to do is these lines that are going to the stars, like radiating out. Since it's daytime, it can be like clouds. Pull that in. And if you get some white on some of the area, all you have to do is go back with that gel pen and cover over it. So it's no problem, okay? I love many pieces of art. I tell you when I, I was going to say when I was younger or whatever, but even as six years ago, it'd be like, oh, I want to tackle these big monstrosities of art. But then you had to like hang them. You had to always have a agenda of where they were going to hang, right? And I love being able for somebody to be able to give someone else an original piece of art that's been created just for that person in mind, you know, and it doesn't break the, doesn't break the bank. Look how pretty that is. Do you see that? That's just gorgeous. So we're going to do the rest of the stars. Linda, if you're still on with me, guess what I'm going to be doing after this? Icing. <laughs> Hey, I did get a doctor appointment, though, for um, Monday. So hopefully we'll have some luck on getting that MRI scheduled. I got tired of waiting, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to see the doctor and sit there face to face and say, all right, guys, what are you doing to help me? Because I don't want to live like this. <laughs> My heart goes out to you guys when you go through aches and so forth. I think that's why I have a desire to help you do different things, whether it's coloring or collaging with paper. Cause like this morning I got on and I did, um, I showed one of the big barn quilts and I love painting the barn quilts. Y'all know that, but I'm telling you, did you know just that video and doing the brush, so it was different. I, I don't know why, maybe in the muscle or something, but it, it put me down. I was like, oh man, but I have another wonderful lady in um, Happy Tribe that does um, like custom sewn dolls and she does decorative jars and she does barn quilts. So I'm going to help get some of my inventory up to her because I may have to take it a little easy this summer on this. All right. So I forgot before we do the farmhouse beads, I forgot his little tail. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm going to have to make more of these cardinals because I think they're going to sell wonderful for Mother's Day. Don't you think? So pretty. By the way, I do have this size in 24 by 24. Would y'all like to do a barn quilt party 
around this size for Mother's Day? Because I can get us a location. I can teach you. I don't have to do the whole painting thing, you know? That's an idea. We would probably want to do it sometime in April. So that way the present's done. Or it could be a great mom and me um, project. Ooh. I'm going to post that, I think, on the Go Find Your Happy page and get your insights. Okay, so this is the white uniball pen that I was telling you about that is just awesome. I'm going to go back over top of this. I'll do that a little bit later, let my shoulder rest. So I have a little bit piece of twine here, and I have these farmhouse beads. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed these little beads in. Two. I'm curious to see how many take for this. So that way, if I want to include it in a kit for you guys, I can. Three. Sound like a kid counting out loud, don't I? <laughs> Let me cut a little bit of that glitter off. Now, the thing is, is I have these that don't have the holes, and they can sit on a pretty little easel. The holes are nice, though, too, because if you don't have a lot of desk space, they can hang by somebody at their desk or their cubicle or in the kitchen, on the window, or in the kitchen by where they wash their dishes, sunroom, bathroom. It just gives a, I think the hanging gives a lot more opportunity. Somebody asked me the other day, though, hey, if we don't have the holes in it, could we make these as coasters. I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. Especially some of the geometric patterns and stuff. So when you go on, go find your happy.com and you see all those designs, um, we can get all of those designs in this size if you so choose, you know, but you just have to. If you never see it for sale or it's out of stock, please message me because um, you know, I'll get busy in my barn and put some things together, okay? This is where my shoulder's wanting to be temperamental with me. I'm not a fan of this string from Michael's, but it was here, so we're using it. All right. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one more time. Come on, baby. Okay, so it's not wanting to go through there. All right. So what we would do is do the farmhouse beads. I'm not going to because the, the person who bought this didn't buy them with the farmhouse beads. So I'm just going to show you the concept here. Of course, I may email her and ask her, hey, would you like me to include these instead of the twine? Because, boy, it sure is pretty. Okay. Let me turn it over on the camera so you can see. Look how cute that is with farmhouse beads. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. Love it. Now these are my bigger beads. So um, I was getting ready to place an order for some smaller beads. And I think that's what I'm going to do for 
the hangings themselves is have them a little bit smaller. But what a cute hanging, y'all. Let me move my camera up. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. All right. So the next project I will be doing is the hand-drawn geometric uh, cardinal that was like all the rave last year, but we're going to move it into a mini template. So I will be back and let you know when that is done. I'll probably do that behind the scenes on video. All right. Chat with you guys later. Bye. Thank you.